there. This is a video for my brother. Um, I don't know if he will ever watch it. It's okay if he doesn't. Um, but uh, I thought I'd explain some things. So, um, this is a guitar and um, it's called an Ibanez and um, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, that's just I-B-A-N-E-Z, Ibanez, I don't know. I'd have to hear someone else say it or a number of people say it. Um, but I think it's probably a Benes. Um, so yeah, uh, I have this guitar under lease. It's a lease to own, uh, agreement. And, uh, whereas this, uh, keyboard here, I have purchased. So, um, this, uh, I own this. Um, I partially own in that I have agreed to pay a certain amount per month um, based on the total price of the guitar. And based on the total price of the guitar, they charge 17% interest. So you take the total price of the guitar, uh, you multiply, I don't, I'm really tired, I'm sorry, but um, you add 17% of the total price uh, to how much the new total is, and then based on that, that's how much the lease has to be paid off. Then you make a down payment, and uh, Based on your down payment and based on the total price, that calculates how much you have to pay per month. And then um, they set a time frame. In this case, it's 12 months or one year. Um, so you have a percentage of the lease to own. Um, you pay the percentage per month and then if you want to you can make additional payments on top of uh, the minimum monthly payment in order to pay off the lease faster and um, if you do that you can efficient like this I own this I don't completely own. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we could talk about property rights and stuff like that, but I really don't know anything about that. Um, uh, it's a completely separate subject. Um, uh, so, anyways. Um, so, I'm trying to... I'm trying to have legal ownership of this guitar. So I have legal ownership as far as I know. Um, I have mental illness, so sometimes I struggle with these ideas. Um, I have legal ownership of uh, this keyboard. Um, I have a legal obligation to purchase this guitar, as, or I think it's a legal obligation, I don't know. I think I'd have to, I think if I did not, if I were not able to make the payments, uh, I would have to declare bankruptcy um, or something. I don't know how it works. I think in a way I'm all, already bankrupt, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, so, uh, uh, 
so anyways, um, so I, I make a monthly payment on the guitar and then I legally own it and then um, and uh, that that covers that section I think and uh, so what I've been doing is um, these are the uh, there are six strings on the guitar I don't know how well you can see with this if I go up close, if you can see better, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're referred to in that order, uh, one being the thinnest string, two a bit thicker, three thicker, four thicker, five thicker, six the thickest. And um, so standard tuning uh, is E, a, D, G, B, E. Now if you look at the keyboard, um, the notes go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it keeps going like that. So, you know, the alphabet goes A to Z. Music, it goes A to um, G. However, um, there are also sharps and flats. I don't know if you can see. Uh, so, see the little, uh, see that there? That's a sharp. That's a flat. So, this is both D flat and C sharp. And then here, so, so, remember, E, A, uh, D, G, B, E, so this is B, if we go up to the top, that means if we pluck the string, I don't know if this is in tune, these things here tune it, um, but basically, that's not necessarily what B sounds like, but say that was B. Um, if you go, if you press down here and then pluck over here, it makes, it changes it to C. So if you see here, where's, where are we? Uh, B. C and then over here we're we're so B C C sharp E so what I've been doing is been playing for example all of the C uh, notes on the guitar so C C C I think C you know I it's something that a lot of it is I I have to hear myself playing it to know I have graphs and s stuff and I'm very very tired um but you understand so uh, so, so, B, this is, this is open, like not, not pressing anything is open. Pressing there is called pressing on the first fret. So, open on the first string is called B. Pressing on the first fret is called C on the second string, and but however, if you're right-handed, the uh, I'm out of breath. Okay, so if if you're right-handed, 
Um, this the the you you call this low E. See the very thick E. The uh, thick string. You call that uh, the sixth string, and the sixth string is closest to your head if you're holding it with your. If you're holding it like that, see the camera is in my left hand. This is my right hand holding the guitar, and then my uh, right hand would be strumming over here. So um, I think this video is long enough and it's probably um, really stupid <laughs> because I'm really tired and uh, so thank you for watching if you have and uh, goodbye.